Hi, and welcome to a new Plug and Groove video. My name is John Skippy Limcool. This is a quick sonic tour of just four of the patches found in the Alchemy Power Pack. Drums are Super Macho Drums Chill Kit. Time changes. So we can have all sorts of fun with these sounds. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. Fun stuff. In this video, we're going to do a patch walkthrough. We're going to go through all the patches so you can hear all 165 patches that are now in this library. I want to apologize to the many of you that have already bought this before this video. I have released this prior. I had to fix something. Uh, the, the, the quick short explanation is there are samples because this I'm including patches that I did like 10 years ago for the Camel Audio version of Alchemy. This is the first time some of these patches have been released. And it turns out that some of the samples that my patches used are not included in the Logic Pro X version of Alchemy. Or if they are, the samples got renamed. And so a whole bunch of patches had errors. It was a little bit of a fiasco for a while. I have fixed that. I have fixed all the patches. They're all fixed. If you buy it now, from, from seeing this video, from this moment forward, it works. Everything works. It's fine. You might get an error message if you load a patch and you don't have the samples that that patch is looking for. If you go to Logic Pro X to the sound library, to the sound library manager, this shows you the libraries that you can install. These are all bonus samples. There's like 68 gigabytes. And there's all sorts of stuff. All you have to do is choose the ones you want to install and hit install. And there's a little tiny blue line that will show up right here in Logic that will be a progress line. And uh, I would highly recommend at least getting uh, the ones that you see here, the, uh, the essential instruments, the, all the alchemy libraries. There's quite a few libraries, as you can see. They're, they all have some really nice patches in them. The electronic kits, the drum kits, I would say uh, stereo kits for sure. I didn't do the multi-outputs because I'm not working in a multi-output configuration. Um, but percussion, drums, these things are all great. The orchestral, of course, piano. Melatron, depending on what you need. Apple Loops, that's up to whether you use loops or not. Um, there's a lot of data here. It's quite a bit of data. The reverbs is additional convolution reverb presets, and you can go here and open that up and just choose stereo, unless you want to do surround. And then legacy and compatibility. <laughs> that's what I thought would fix this alchemy thing, but it didn't. So I had to go searching through all of these libraries and find the samples that had kind of a similar name, but they just changed it around a little bit or find other sounds that were similar and reprogram it. So I have done all that work, so I can show you this library now. Now, as to installation, let me give you a quick couple of tips here, because uh, for a lot of you guys, computers are not the forte, right? This is kind of new. So when you download and unzip the install file, you'll see this Power Pack for Alchemy Dream, Mega Magic Dreams V2. That's the version that now comes from my website when you buy this. I would suggest this, if you hold down command on your key and double click these alias files, see how it opens up, you've got two tabs like a web browser. So now you can click this and you can drag it over here so it's separate. That way you can see the two side by side. That way you can say, open the put contents into alchemy folder, take this and drag it over here to the alchemy folder, it says alchemy up here at the top. 
and let go. I'm going to hit stop because I've already done that. And then you can go to libraries, like open libraries, and you'll see these multiple folders. So if you go over here, put contents into source folder, these three folders, drag them over source, let go. I'm going to say stop because I have them in here already. Back this one up, go to effects, select all of these, drag them over to this effects folder. Boom, you're in. And then if you want the sampler instruments for EXS24, you'd hold down the control key or you right click right here and go to audio music apps. And right here is sampler instruments. So open that, go like this, say put contents into sampler instruments, drag over here. There it goes, okay? So that's how you install this library into the various folders, okay? So that should make that a little bit more clear, I hope for you. The other thing that's critical is after you have put these folders into their various locations, you must, must, must go over here to the browser. Well, it doesn't matter what you say here, but you must go to file, say refresh library. You must do that or the patches won't show up. Do that. You scroll through everything in the list until you get to the M's and starting with MMDR bass and the acoustic. And if I'm over here, that's the first of the Mega Magic Dreams patches. And then there's a whole bunch of these. If you go down the list, you'll see they go guitar, key, pad, string, synth. After synth, we start what I call the bonus patches. And they start with a startup synth patch. It's very easy to program from right here. To get a start, and if you want, you go to advanced, and now you have access to the parameters. If you click the filter cutoff, you can see it's the envelope number two, so ADHR number two. One thing I love with Alchemy is it's real time. So where you want the sustain to rest, you can go over here and you can see what your settings are. Really nice you can real time hear what's going on okay and then after this are the bonus patches those with an x are patches that came from the original camel audio alchemy so you can click these and they're here okay like the zero zero patch from alchemy There, here we go, okay? Uh, is there anything else in this I wanna cover? There's a video with three parts. It's a power video that comes with this library if you buy the full, there's, there's two versions. There's the patches, which comes with the video, and there's a video by itself for those of you that have the Camel Audio Alchemy um, either on the Mac or the PC. These patches are not compatible with the Camel Audio version of alchemy i tried <laughs> i actually loaded them i have camel audio alchemy downstairs on my other mac computer and the files the file formats changed and it's not compatible but that video has a ton of tips there's the interface part two is the oscillator because there is so much you can do with this oscillator and then part three is patched from scratch and we make a synth a, a couple different patches from scratch it's one gigabyte of download video data that you get when you buy the power pack. Okay, let's do the patches. There's 165. Fasten your seatbelt. Uh, we've done these before. The Mega Magic Dreams isn't new. It's available for Omnisphere. There's a version of that which comes with EXS24 presets, as well as there's also a Contact 5 version. Uh, but this is the first to sort of like this. So here they are. This is one of the... Love this library. The concept, Omnisphere 2.1 came out. You could have one sample across the keyboard. Um, if it's just a dry sample, uh, you know, an octave up the keyboard, it's just a pink, pink, and it's gone. So I added reverb so that they ring out. <laughs> and it makes for really cool, cool sounds. Very unique and distinctive. So. 
So here is Mega Reese. Got a cool roll in it, which the reverb then does cool stuff with. Here's Rocker. And just as a tip, if you go here to the envelope, you can bring down the sustain, shorten the decay, and then go over here to the hold for number one envelope. And now it has less reverb in your mix. If you're playing with drums and stuff, you might not want it to have this full sustain. So you can set up the envelope. That sounds much more workable in a mix than, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of sustain there in some of these samples, especially bass and things like that. So one option is to use the envelope, use a little hold, shorten the decay, and then find where you want the sustain to be, and that's where it will sit. What's really cool is you can set up different mixes of the envelope over here between these different boxes and actually like, and here's a pad. Or you can go over here to pluck bright. And now the decay is short, there's no sustain. So this is the same for every patch. I wanted to kind of have some compatibility so you knew what everything did for a while. When you get to the X patches, it's all, all rules are broken. Okay. Here's uh, Subtrap. Tonker. And these also work really great with a filter. All that kind of stuff. I love that one. Here's some bells. Bells of yes tomorrow. Celestial. And if you look at these, what's cool, it's a single sample across the whole keyboard. But it plays really nicely. So instead of being all these sample libraries with thousands and thousands of samples, this is like old school 1995 single samples. You know, if you would, you would, did you know, for example, the Korg Wave Station, a synthesizer I worked on, all of the samples for that entire synthesizer, how much memory did that take up? Here we are where, you know, some of these sounds are three, four megabytes in size. You download libraries that are multiple gigabytes. We had two megabytes every sample that's in that machine. <laughs> so, you know, come a long ways. So old school still has its place. And I know old school, so here we go. Uh, harps. Clock and verb, there's a couple of these. Nice. A gothic resonator. And again, play around here. You'll find all sorts of alternate patches. Right in here, I'm fun stuff. Harmaniano. 
harp and piano. Okay, harp limba. I'll give you a free tip. If you want more velocity control, go to advanced. Go global to the master, and here you see velocity. You can increase this. And if you want, you can also go to the filter and increase here. If you do this and bring down the cutoff, because this velocity is an add, so it adds to this value so you can have the cutoff low. has to get more expressive than the way it calls up, for example. It calls up nice and strong, but if you want to be more expressive, that would be how you would do it, okay? Magical pluck. Uh, marimba verb. And these are great to layer with fast synth sounds. I'm not gonna do that right now, but trust me, they're really cool. There's Rough Bell. Play like a haunted house Halloween thing. Okay, uh, Xylo and Viro. Then we get to the guitars. These are really fun. That sustain on them is just lovely. Uh, here's Dreamy Nylon. It's very nice. Now this, if you notice, these patches might sound similar compared to... The low sounds just about like... But the top doesn't. That's because Dreamy Nylon is using, if you hit A and edit, you can see it's two samples. Whereas these uh, Dreamy Nylon High, that's the high sample, that's the low sample. So some of these you'll hear, there's gonna be split. So here's Fender Verb. And here is the high sample. And the low sample. Love how the guitar sound with this reverb it came out so nice. Uh, here's harmonics. Here's muted dreamer. Great for ambient tracks and stuff like that. Spanky octaves. This was like my early test with just a couple samples compared to Mega Magic Guitars later, which uses all six samples across the keyboard for even more realism. Um, it's not really guitar, it's like guitar-ish. Okay, let's close this, let's get back here. Here is Still Dreaming.
Sunny Dreamer. I think this is the two together if I hit edit. Yeah, it's, it's two samples. Sunny Dreamer one, two. Okay, so that's all the guitars. Here we go with keyboards. This is B3 Jazzy Dream. These are really cool. Ring out very nicely. Unnaturally, because normally a B3 sustains forever, but it's kind of cool. Uh, here's Warm Dream. Uh, Bozy Soft, this is. Very moody. And the ring out with that reverb is really unique. Uh, here's Castle Walls. Dry, and then there's also a wet version, which Got this extra wobbliness because of the processing. Crystallize. Love that. Uh, here's Darkest Grand. This is more for octaves. doesn't sound like a piano because it's a single sample across the keyboard for goodness sake. On most libraries it's a sample on every note so it's a whole different vibe to have just one piano sample with processing. Totally different vibe, right? Uh, here's distorted sign. And if you go looking back in the archive of YouTube videos, there's a YouTube video where we make this sound <laughs> from scratch. Put the processing on it, bounce it out as audio, put it into ESX24, I think, to try out. Um, we did that also for the distorted bass that's earlier in the library. Those were both done during a video that I put on YouTube. So. Dream piano, lovely. Happy Dreams, Mellotronic Grand. Here's Organ Vox. Uh, pipe Dream String. Here's pure warmth. And again, if you don't want it to sustain, if you want to have more shape, just bring this, bring the sustain down some. And you can find the right amount of decay to sustain. Like that's too low. That gives I do like this parameter right here setting. You didn't want to turn it up because we've kind of killed some of the sustain of it. But those settings right there make it more percussive than it's more like a pad here. So you can set it up how you want. It's flexible. The thing is with programming, you're, you can take stuff away. You can't, in most cases, add stuff unless it's an effect that's bringing harmonics. But as far as to the sustaining of the notes, my concept is to like give you a lot of stuff to work with. And if you want less, just bring down the sustain a bit. Bring the decay to the shape you want.
and off you go, okay? Um, here's soft suitcase. And you can see how long the samples are. <laughs> and as you get to the lower samples, they're playing back slower. So this is just showing you a high note playing back. Uh, soft and airy. The other thing that's fun with these is if you right click on pitch, you can add a new modulation source. And you could say, let's give me strong intensity. Bring sustain down. And you can get all sorts of great. Here's without it. Because these envelopes are so dang snappy. Okay, so you can do stuff like that all day long. Uh, synthetic pianoforte. Okay. Again, it's to stay now forever and ever and ever. Um, tingly. Uh, boy Vox Verb. Uh, string Machine. Uh, here's Very Pretty Virus. I love this one. Voxy verbiage. Okay. Here's the strings. There's something unique. Here's the dream string combo. Again, <laughs> this is two samples, and then there's the two samples by themselves here, the uh, streams high, and then the low, but because they're emphasizing the low, that means the high gets really nice. Nice strong pitch EG on that is lovely. Uh, viola pitsy verb. And then here's violin pitsy verb. Uh, airy. I use it, the, the demo that I just played earlier. Noise hit. Nice. Uh, Test in the landing. This one's long. Very long samples. Okay, so that's how you can use that. Here's the uh, Dreamtime CS60. Uh, go 
Michael Sleep Brad's verb. Now a series of patches that say Maxwell. That's my modular synthesizer. If we shine a light, you know, see you can see over there is Maxwell. Hi Maxwell, how you doing, buddy? I'll probably put a camera shot in here so you can see Maxwell. Let's see here, get this back. Hi again. Let's see, get this back where it was, something like that. Uh, yeah. So Maxwell. <laughs> This was actually looped. It's one patch if, out of all the patches in the library of Mega Magic Dreams that's actually looped. Nothing else is looped. There's radar, short. Now these, the reverb is different because Maxwell, I used the modular little reverb effect that I've got. So it's a whole different vibe than the other Mega Magic samples. Love this one. That resonance is great. It's a Corgasmatron is the name of the filter. It's really great. Cool vibe to it. So here's Sophie. Hey, this works really well as a... If you make this short, match the decay to the release. Otherwise, otherwise you get the sustaining stuff that you don't get when you hold the note down. And if you want, you can play this, have the decay short and the release long, so you play and hold. You can do all sorts of tricky things or get the release to match the decay. That way, however you play it, you have it matching the same. So envelope matching is important or not, depending on how you're going to use it. Okay. Here is super string. Supertronic. Here's X ray. Here's Tronic Violin. Very cool. Octopower. All sorts of chill, poppy kind of things like that. Ping. Planetarium. Okay. Here is Pluck Verb 4-Way Velocity Switch. This is one where I set it up so that there are actually four different patches. A... B, C, and D, and you can see each one has a different register of velocity. So. Play soft. You're in this territory or. It's four different samples. Okay, so that. Versus these other four are the hard, medium, mediums, and soft. So you can tell a difference. You don't have the dynamic range. I mean, you do, but it's the same brightness the whole time. Here is medium. Medium, hard, soft. It's very different than if this is the 
just that part of, and then it changes to other samples. So study that, it's pretty cool. Here's Power Snapper. Retro CS60. Another modular type sound with the resonance. Lovely. Solaris. Okay. Nice synthy string. Theron Bach. Triumph overall. It's lovely. Let's see if we're looking at A, you'll see the waveforms again. Uh, now here's Viral Spike. This is another one that's a three wave velocity switch. Okay, and then you also have it here as just the hard, medium, and then the soft. I love the soft. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. Warm impact. Nice, layer this with some slinth patch or something like that. It's wonderful. Warm snap. Now we get to the synthy stuff and the bonus. These are all the bonus. So that's the Mega Magic Dreams part of the library. From here we get to the bonus and the Camel Audio Alchemy patches that were created, God, 2009, 2010 is when I did them. It's like eight years ago, eight to 10 years ago. And this is one where I've connected to these controllers. And there's already an envelope. So if you go over here to the global and hit the filter, you'll see it's ADSR2. If you go over here and change this to two. Also be aware, you've got multiple curvatures. Only three in the positive and then three in the negative. They make a noticeable difference. Okay, gotcha. So then from there, here's some of the... Um, using Mega Magic Dream samples along with other samples. This goes crazy. That's a fun. First alchemy from Camel Audio Days. Anything that has an X at the end of the name means it's from the past version of alchemy. Here we go. Someone's meant to load. There's a new one I made using Sawtooth with the Reese file from Mega Magic Dreams. There's a setting right here for glide. And in a case like this, you see that it's as short as it can go, but you still hear glide. 
If you see yellow, that means look down here to see where the glide is at. And right here. If you can't see it, click on the button and over here will say X, Y, pad, Y on the one. So it's one. So if it's up here, you got long glide. Here it's no glide. Uh, bells. Okay, here's a BPM. This is the start of the BPM patches. This is pad partners. This is where it has a pad sound and on another layer, another oscillator, it's a arpeggiated part. Really nice. Uh, here's really fun. Like remix on a patch. Again, we did this in the uh, power the, the power videos that come with the power pack. We got it to this point. But then I added the drums. Which is basically a sine wave. And if you go here to the pitch, you can add a nice pitch EG. <laughs> oh, I'm using LFOs for this, I think. Yeah, this is just using LFOs. Here's your volume. shape it how you want and then C is um, let's just turn off C here's D doing noise that's this and over here's your different noise types and you have controls for the low and high pass filtering so turn these all on here we go fun so that's a fun batch to play with and pull apart here is some fun with the uh warm bell soft i love this one because it's got it you got fun stuff to play with there here is uh pulsing water strings There's one from Camel Audio Alchemy Days. Okay, here's Sonar Shadow Dance. Now this one doesn't say anything. Let me show you a shortcut. I'm giving away all the secrets that are in the power videos, but it's fun to do this, so what the heck. If you go over here, you can say auto assign all and you can say randomize the snapshots. And just like that. You can take any patch you want and have it randomized parameters and it's different every time. Really fun. Uh, spiritual bugs. saw pulsar and it grows which is nice fun stuff there here's retrotronic so 
so much fun. Uh, Forest Gnomes Dancing, Dispatch 00 from Camel Audio, Alchemy Days. Cool. Here's Alien Water Baby. Uh, here's Angels Alive. RP snappy sign. That's a variety there. Dragon Warrior X. Mom. It's total granular pull apart. And if you want, here, I'll, well, this is kind of fun. So say import audio, go over to alchemy samples, go to loops, say drum loops, and just choose one. Right? And they're automatically cycled because an LFO is going through the position. So just cycle. Or that could be a folder of your own loops. It doesn't have to be Alchemy's loops. I could hit plus, 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 plus a whole bunch of times, and there's so many loops in there. Now, sometimes you'll get stuff really fast, so go here to the LFO rate. Try eight. Now, down here, it's moving that LFO rate knob. Right? So, you can spend forever playing with stuff like that. It's really fun. Here's Future Piano. Future E Piano, I should say. <laughs> Here's uh, Pulsing Steel. Okay, here's Bold Brass. So here's Additive Dream Guitar. This is really nice. Lovely. Uh, Muted Shorty. on uh, December piano really fun is using the crystallize with pianos and effects and it will take your CPU down if you're not careful you can go to effects and turn off the convolution reverb if you want that will save yeah, that saves a decent amount of CPU cycles. Uh, lost in a Dream Piano. Kind of old school piano sound. Uh, morphing Pianos. Nice panning, fun 
stuff going on. Peaceful Union. More like a normal piano. Not everything has to be the long sustaining things, so here's variations on that. A soft piano guitar dreamer. Some of the synthy granular stuff going on in there. A tingly, tingly dream e piano. Who comes up with these names, man? Rhodes and their FM piano together. Happy Trance Mega Lead. And it's kind of cool, it's all synthesis. You hear the filters are wonderful. You know filters are good when you can turn them off. And it sounds the same as when they're on, but still. So many synthesizers, you turn on the filters and all the high end goes away to start. The slope of the filters, not quite nailed like this is. Love it. Uh, baby tiger sleeping. So here is Breath Bell. Lovely. A lonely movie. Nice pads. Uh, selling away with Maxwell. Lovely. Nice and spirit. Slow saw one. Now there's not a slow saw two, but this is the name it had in alchemy and for back in the day, so kept it the same. I kind of tweaked these to be a little bit more versatile. Okay. Here is Sunlight Dreams. Not quite the same as it originally was 10 years ago. Different samples being used, but still sounds good. Uh, here's the bug. There's that bug. If you've ever been in Central America, you know you just kind of have these bugs that make really weird sounds. Don't ever heard them before, so that's kind of the idea. Uh, Arcadia Awakening. This is one of those where you can click the tune button and it'll tell you it's a HDSR2 and as you can see it snaps it right here to show you so you can make it shorter if you want it just to be and if you don't want so much then you can go over here and say edit modulation to see that it's velocity turn off velocity go back to tune and pick that's just a preset amount. Okay. I'm giving
giving away all my tricks. But there are a lot of other tricks in that video that are not being shared right now. <laughs> Here's granular, how do I say this? Granularitis, gran, granularitis, granularitis hurricane. Why did I name it that? But cool sound. It's got that compressor on a pad effect. fun. Uh, here's memory ripples. Here's Cynthia, my lady. This is for like the future basses. I didn't go to number two envelope. To change the shape of the envelope and the attack time to get a whole bazillion different types of attacks. Here's Soldier Boy. Broken science. Then we start the drums. I'll show you a couple tips. And these are things I didn't cover in the power video. But if you want, click this button here to see that it's X, Y, pad one, Y. So slow, we're playing it fast. Also, hit edit if you want. You could say import audio. Go to something like, they don't show you here, but so if you wanna go to your library, the main library at the top of the, not the one in your user folder, um, go over here to application support, to logic, this is the default where they're saved. If you've exported the library to be saved on another hard drive, it'll be different. But if you go over here to Ultra Beat Samples, each of these folders are kits. So you could go over here to like, um, like Studio Brush Kit or Trip Hop Remix. Go over here, make sure that you're not set to pitch, but you set it to drum. Select all these, go like this, say import. So now all those samples are here. And if you go to a different folder, your own personal folder, you could have 127 different samples. This is just only 25. But if you go import audio, make sure it's at the drum, select all these, drag them over here, say import, it will map them and set them up with this weird synthesis mode. So that's a lot of fun you can do to the drum samples if you want. Okay. And after slug bait, that's it. We're back into the alchemy patches. All right, so in conclusion, alchemy is very powerful. This library makes it more powerful. Like I showed in the earlier video, the ability to now go to load source, to go to a folder with over 300 presets that you can choose from is really powerful. It opens up a whole lot of doors. Future libraries I'm gonna release will add more maps so even more will be made available so it's lots of fun in that respect so thank you for your support for buying this and we will see you in the next video okay see ya <laughs>